It seems like in the most recent versions of Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel that Microsoft really, really wants us to save all of our files in the cloud, wants us to save everything to OneDrive. I'm sorry, I'm not saving everything to OneDrive. I'm old fashioned. I want my file stored on my computer. Now, of course, you need to figure out some way to back up your files so that you don't lose them in case something happens. But I have a subscription to Dropbox for that. I do not want to save all of my files on OneDrive. So here's a little tip about how you can help save files on your own computer with a little bit less clicking around than you might have to do otherwise. So here's a file I created in Excel. And if we go to File, Save, the first thing's listed here. It's on Recent by default. And then it's got OneDrive and then Sites and then another OneDrive account. And then up here in Top Places, it's got a lot of things that really are not my top places for wanting to save things. In order to get it to save on your own computer, sometimes you have to click and click and click. What I want is for this PC to be the default. And then I also want it to be able to go to a specific folder on my computer where I actually might want to save things. So here's how you can do that. So go down here to the bottom under Options. And the options we're looking for are here under Save. We're going to do two different things. First, let's uncheck this box here, Auto Save Files Stored in the Cloud by Default in Excel. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck this, Show Additional Places for Saving, even if sign-in may be required. This will remove some of those online, OneDrive, Dropbox sorts of accounts. It'll still show you some of them but at least it might unclutter that area a little bit because I really don't want to see any of those things up there. And then I'm going to click Save to Computer by Default. Now the other thing I'm going to do, because I don't usually store my documents in the My Documents kind of folder, I save them in a subfolder in my Dropbox. Now whenever I was trying this in Word and these settings will cross-pollinate into Microsoft Word and other Office apps. But when I was in Word, there was a little select button over here if I extended this over, but I'm not seeing that here in the Excel options. So let me show you another quick trick to allow you to easily enter in the path information for where you want things actually saved. So either use File Explorer or the This PC to navigate to the area where you want to be saving your documents. And let's suppose that I want to save my documents here. Or at least this is where I want to start, and then I'll probably be navigating to one of my subfolders so that I can keep my documents organized. Now if you look up here at the top of the folder, I have the full path listed. And that's not what Microsoft is going to do for you by default. If we go to View, Options, change folder and search options and then we click the view tab you can check this little box here display the full path in the title bar i find that's very helpful for figuring out where things are and where to go find certain files so if you check that box it'll show you the full path of where you want to add in this box but sadly you can't just select that and then copy and paste it Here's a little trick to be able to do that. Just right click any of the folders or other items in this area where you want to be saving things. Go down to the properties. And then here under location, it shows you the path to that folder that you're in. If you highlight it, and it can be a little tricky highlighting this, then you can right click and copy. And then let's just close those. And then we can go over here in this box and control V to paste that information in. Then we click OK. Now, whenever we want to go save a document, save, it will automatically select the this PC area. And by default, we're already in that folder where we want to start looking for where we're going to save that document. So I hope that this saves you a little bit of clicking around and saves you a little bit of frustration whenever you're using Microsoft Office applications. Have a good day, everybody.